The final trigger to explore is the keyboard shortcut. So we've seen how we can trigger our VBA procedure through customizing the ribbon or the quick access toolbar, or even adding a button itself to the sheet. Some people prefer keyboard shortcuts. The advantage to a keyboard shortcut is there's nothing visual on the screen and you need to know the keyboard shortcut. So it may be a command that you want to keep to yourself or that one that you want to share with only a few people, or it might just be another option for triggering your procedure that you want to give to people. To add a keyboard shortcut to an existing procedure, we go to the developer ribbon, to the macro section, and you'll see your run form procedure is listed there, assuming you're in the change case procedure file. Then we go to options on the right here, and that's where we add in a keyboard shortcut. Now you can see that this one has got control shift C added to it. Now you'll find that control is effectively there by default, and you can then add in any other character. I would certainly suggest that you add in a shift with Excel so that you're not using probably one of the most used commands that already exist. For example, if we were to put Control P, then Control P would trigger your change case procedure, not print as people would expect. So if I hold down the Shift key and add in, let's go for a G, then Control Shift G will run my change case procedure well, the user form that then triggers the change case procedure. So, okay, and then we cancel the box. Let's add some text. Highlight the text, Control Shift G triggers our user form. Let's go all lowercase, okay. And we find that they all go lowercase. So that's adding a keyboard shortcut just to give another trigger for your procedure. We go to the macros list, we choose the procedure we'd like to add the keyboard shortcut to, then options, and then add in the keyboard shortcut. Bear in mind that whatever keyboard shortcut you assign to this particular procedure will take away from Excel's default command for that keyboard shortcut. So just a little caveat to be careful there. If you want to remove the keyboard shortcut, we go back to the same place, options, just delete the letter that you've placed in there, and you'll see it leaves the control plus in there, that's the default. OK and cancel. And then you no longer have that keyboard shortcut triggering. So control shift G now does nothing. It doesn't trigger our change case procedure.